awesome. Happy, happy, happy time together. I do not take for granted a second this time that we have together, so I feel incredibly grateful for you to be here with me today, so thank you, thank you for joining. Let's all start in a seated meditation, whether you're on your shins or cross ankles. Today is about being silly in love with people. And what that means to me, sometimes I feel like I'm too busy for people. And it's the irony of this quarantine. It's like, I see so many people in a day that I can't always take in the information, the hellos, the hugs, the ha da da ha da And then all of a sudden we get zero where maybe you see your roommates or what we'll talk about in session today, what we call the igloo, the little, the five people that you'll see. And I just, I don't take for granted the connection that we get to have with people. So with your eyes closed, take a deep breath into your heart. As you exhale, let it slowly drain out. Bring your right hand flat across your chest. With your eyes still closed, let your chest rise and fall a bit. And I want you to think about somebody that you may not be quite able to see right now. That's okay. That's the new normal that we're in. But think about someone that is a little bit distant from you from this social distancing we're in. And with your hand on your heart, now bring your left hand up to your heart, cross the palms, and imagine you were putting your left palm on top of their right hand, wherever they are. Take these moments with your eyes closed to settle in and imagine you were giving that person that you want to think of, that you want to give love to, that you miss, Imagine you were touching them, your left hand over their right. What love do you want to give them? What message do you want to send to them? And then sending so much sweet love to that person. Let's switch it. Take your left palm off and your right palm off. Put your left palm on your chest. Now I want you to imagine that person was giving you love. That person was putting their left hand on your chest. Take a deep breath in and breathe. Imagine they're touching you. Sending love into your heart. Exhale. You are really supported. Take your right hand, put it over their left, and give that love back just a little bit. What a new normal we're in, and I'm so grateful for the ability to close my eyes and connect. The memories that we have, the ability to remember the feeling of touching someone, holding their hand, giving them a hug. Thank you, memory. Thank you, abilities to just close my eyes and tap into what matters. Take your arms over your head and you're gonna cross your hands, palms, the light side of your palms come towards your head, cross your thumbs and flutter your little butterfly fingers, make your fingers go out nice and wide like this. Then take your hands up as high as you can. So you're sitting and lifting your hands, flutter your fingers. Take a deep breath in, flutter them. Then exhale, close them and reach up. So now we've kind of interlaced right palms in front of left interlace and tug and pull take an inhale extend and expand exhale pull the palms into your heart and hold your own hand yeah do that again inhale up exhale hold your own hand pull it in last time breathe in hold your own hand we're gonna switch and stretch your wrist this is really good to open up your forearms left hand in front of right Straighten up as much as you can to stretch your shoulders. Breathe in. Tug hands to heart and hold. Good. Another round. Inhale. Stretch up a little bit higher to stretch your hands. Then tug in and stretch to the wrist line. This is so good to reverse a lot of the typing or the texting we might have been doing. I'm sure you're like me. You've done a little bit more than normal. Awesome. Take your arms up over your head. 
and meet me in child's pose. Roll over, widen your knees. Now my girls are doing an awesome job in the back. Alana on my right hand side will be doing a little bit less intensity. Sarah on my left hand side with the red hair will be doing a little bit more physical intensity. Pay attention to the way that your breath is literally caressing your entire body. Yes. And as you inhale, come all the way up onto all fours, tabletop. Downward facing dog, fly back. Walk your hands back to your feet at the back of your mat. Sway a little bit left and right. Get some space in your hamstrings. Then at the back of your mat, roll all the way to standing. Inhale, lift your palms over your head. Same hand grip, right palm goes in front of left. Interlace them above your head. Take a big breath in. Exhale, reach and pull towards the left, or excuse me, the right. So your left side is getting longer and your right arm is pulling and tugging on your left. I may not be your mirror image, so pay attention to your body. Pull, reach and tug, awesome. Good alignment. Hug up from your inner thigh muscles and wherever you are guys, pull your abs in super tight. Nice depth, let me keep reaching, breathe in. Come back through center. Take your palms, pull them through your heart, and now make an offering out. It's gonna feel funky on your wrists, I understand. Keep tugging your hands forward, extend them, extend them. Hold steady. Ooh, inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, switch the grip on the other hands, left in front of right. Inhale, nice and long. Exhale, side bend, side bend the other way. Keep reaching. You've got three breaths to activate deeper length. Hmm, okay, I hear you guys, I see you. All right, keep breathing. I'm gonna re-sign in under a different computer. Stay, end stream. Come through center, forward fold everybody if you're with me and hang out. I hear you and I see you on the Zoom chat. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Hang out in your forward fold if you're with me. Walk yourself out to plank position. Walk yourself out to plank position. Hold steady. Feel your plank fire up. Now you've got a 60 second hold in your plank. Stay so steady in your plank that you're sure that your abs are on fire. If you want a little bit of a deeper push. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Lift your right leg up to the sky. Lift your right leg up to the sky. I'm turning off my live stream chat, just bear with me. I can't live stream and zoom at the same time, so I'm turning it off, hold. And breathe my planks, take a chaturanga push up, go halfway down. Upward facing dog, breathe in. All right, we're back in business. Better computer, technical difficulties, downward facing dog. If anyone has a webcam they wanna send me, that's exactly <laughs> what I need. Amazon said, <laughs> Amazon literally said it takes a month to get a webcam, so until then, we're gonna have to do it this way. All right, breathe in. Let's flow it, look forward. Step or float to the top of your mat, forward fold. Halfway up, breath in. Forward fold, breath out, you guys look awesome. Inhale, mountain pose, let's go back to that hand grip. The idea is that you're holding your own hand, so right in front of left, side bend to the right, tug and pull your body over to the right. Give yourself an ab workout. Come back up through center, other way, take it to the other direction, pull. Good, come up through center, bend your knees and forward fold, reach all the way for the ground. <sighs> Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, push up, chaturanga, take it back. Now, if you want more upper body work, that's me today. Do a double chaturanga. Let's see it, Sarah. I don't know if what you've done today, but push it, girl. <laughs> all right, team, inhale your gaze forward. 
Step or float to the top of the mat one more time. Halfway lift to tone your back. Exhale, forward fold. Beautiful. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose again. This time left in front or right if you didn't do it on the other side. Side bend to the left. Reach your body to the left. Inhale through center. Reach your body the other way. Inhale through center. Forward fold, exhale. All right, we're building momentum. Inhale, halfway up. Double chaturanga push-up. Take it back. Nice. I love the diligence, Amanda. Way to step back. Nice double push-up. Get it. Heck yeah. Downward dog, team. Inhale, right leg up. Shake it on out. Make some space in your hip. Circumduct from your hip joint. Let it feel really good. Breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. Adding into our flow. Inhale, modified crescent. Drop your back knee down and push your hip flexor forward. Take your palms up. Wrap your right hand again in front of your left. Now, this whole intention of this bind and mantra today is about feeling supported by other people. So your right hand is you. You're the giver. Your left hand is the receiver. Remember that when you're holding this grip, it's like you're holding that person's hand that you wish that you could see right now. Inhale, hold their hand and look up at it. Push your left hip forward. Awesome depth. Stay. Alana's going to stay right here to build some depth in her hip. Or if you'd like a little bit more intensity for your legs, rise up. Stay. Lean to the right. Tilt your body. Your lower body doesn't move, just your upper body. Pretend that your legs were glued in cement. Yeah, good depth, Linz. Awesome, Jenna. Keep reaching so that you feel uncomfortable. I want you to go to the point where your breath is hard to breathe. And then you know that when the ground's unsteady, like it often is, you've got the inner strength to hold on to it. Inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, bring those same palms through your heart. So you're taking all of that love and support in. Offer the support out. Oh, stretch your wrists and lift your back leg. It's like an airplane with bound hands. You've taken the banda, the hand grip, through your heart, and now you're serving it out. Kick your leg up. Yeah, hold it. Nice, Haley. If you want a little bit more core work, align your ears with your biceps. Keep reaching. I know it's a weird, fin funky finger stretch. Your metacarsals, your finger bones, are loving this stretch. Stay with it. Step back to just regular crescent. Lift your arms up over your head. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Open up with fierce arms into a Virabhadrasana. So honestly, if you know me, I really don't like this pose. I don't, I don't like the way it feels in my body. It's like it, eh, whatever. But today, it's intentional. Warrior two is about the strength that you're gonna build from the inside from this quarantine. Together, we are a quarantine. So if you're with me, I don't care where you are, I wanna hi -ya. <laughs> So say it, seriously. Hi -ya. Hi -ya. <laughs> okay, through your heart, say it. Hi -ya. Hi -ya. <laughs> Sometimes it feels good to just fucking yell. Try it. Breathe in. Hi -ya. Hi -ya. All right, <laughs> inhale, reverse warrior. Enliven up your side body. Wake up the sides. Now remember what it took to kind of tug. Take your left hand, pull your wrist, and pull it back. Pull it back. Pull it back. <sighs> good. Hold. You've got to trust that every single thing you're doing is planting a seed. It is really hard right now to know what's next. I get it. So know that even just this little stretch is going to help tone your abs three weeks from now. Hopefully when we're out of quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> just this little stretch is opening up your diaphragmic breathing so that in 10 years, maybe you're not so tight and you can actually inflate your lungs to their capacity. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Right leg back to the sky, kick it up like a scorpion tail. Flip your dog, take your right toes up and over. Just thrust your hips up. It doesn't matter where you land. It could be beautiful in a back bend, or it could just be a butt strengthener and doesn't have to look good by any means. Inhale, thrusting your hips up. Exhale, rewind to plank position. Hold steady, hover the right foot if it's accessible. Alana's going to drop to her back knee to create more core stability. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, right foot, left hand. Inhale, kick it back. 
right foot, left hand. Wow. Inhale, <laughs> right foot, left hand. If you're gonna go a little off center, have fun with yourself. If there's one thing I'm learning about this darn quarantine, it's that no one's watching. So it's both things. Like you can do whatever the heck you want in a good way, but also these moments right now, we're holding each other accountable by showing up. You've got 10 seconds till we're gonna get down on your belly. I'm watching. Get it, train. Awesome, Amanda. I love that you're using the sunshine. I love the fall and triangle kick, team. Take a deep breath in. Lower all the way down to your stomach. All right. Heart opener. It's about trust. Take your right hand behind your back. Interlace it with the left. Pretend that you're holding on to that person you love so much. You're holding their hand. I support you. Inhale. Back bend. Stay or lift your legs. Alana's going to stay right there toning her hamstrings. If you want a little bit more, stretch your arms forward. Start to swim. Right and left. Left and right. If you want to add the arms, cool. Or last little layer. I'm going to hit you if I try. <laughs> Next side. <laughs> Inhale, reach. Exhale, breaststroke. <laughs> Inhale, reach. Exhale, breaststroke. There you go. I'm trying to get my 10,000 steps in every day, and I'm realizing the more I can move my arm around, <laughs> the more steps I'm getting. That's cheating. <laughs> it's not cheating. We're moving. <laughs> Remember, too. <laughs> that your watches and things, they don't track all this good yoga. So if you want to move your arms more, it helps in it. <laughs> it's like you're doing a walk. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, child's pose, roll all the way back. Let's reconnect to the supportive strand that we built at this beginning of class. Thinking about that awesome person you want to give love energy to. Let's do the left side for them. It's the giving side. I give the strength, my commitment to my postures. I give that strength to you. Breathe in, downward dog, fly back. Left leg up, breath in, shake it on out. Low lunge, bring it through. Inhale, modified crescent. This time cross your left hand in front of your right. Reach up and hold. Get as long as you can. So it's as if I was tugging your wrist line and I'll do it to Sarah. Like I was pulling your wrists up so that we're creating space around the diaphragmic ribs. Pull and tug your diaphragm up as you plug your left heel down strong. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Lift your back knee if you've chosen on the other side and lean to the left. The irony about balancing is the more that you focus, the easier it is to balance, right? So focus on one point and just think I am breathing in, I am breathing out. Nice, Kristen, go all the way lower. Awesome depth, Chels. Keep stretching through your right. Keep stretching through your right so as Reach, 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 breathe in. And slowly through center, warrior two, open wide. Awesome. I need those sound effects again. I hope that your neighbors feel like that you're weird. So Nikki, my friend in Boston, the one that hates Ellen, she's so crazy. Um, she said that everyone can hear her underneath of her. I'm lucky to be in a place where my neighbors won't get that upset. So I want you to yell as loud as your neighbors will allow you to. Take a deep breath in. hi yeah. hi yeah. <laughs> Try it again, inhale. hi yeah. Hi -yah. Like, no, like, like, like you're, and like, let it all out. Breathe in. hi -ya! <laughs> Inhale, reverse. Hold on. Grab your hand to your wrist. Good. As you lean out, do this lean. Do this deep dive in your strength for somebody else. Keep leaning out of your sides. Breathe, breathe. Strong abs. Exhale, high plank. Flip dog, lift your left foot up into a scorpion tail. Flippity dippity. Awesome. Most of life feels like we're constricted in breathing. Oh my God, life's gonna take our breath away both in the good and the bad ways. But right now we know we're strong enough, so bring it back to plank. Tell your core I'm strong enough to open up my heart even when it's scary. Hover your left foot, tap your foot with your right hand, 30 seconds. Good. Remember, your back knee can stabilize on the ground. It's a bird dog. It's so good for spinal alignment. 
Even if your knee's on the ground, that's one of the best poses you can do for the spinal longevity. But knowing that there's only 10 more seconds, if you can give that 10 seconds, last five, four, three, two, one, and go, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Now, just because today I wanna to get a little saucy, I'm feeling like I've got a lot of pent up energy. We're gonna do a Pilates swan. <laughs> so layer one, oh, yeah. layer one. <laughs> layer one, you can swim. Layer two, a Pilates swan looks like this. You lift up, you get some momentum, and then you fly and lift up and fly. Lift up, fly. How high can you get your legs behind you? Up dog, legs up. Go ahead, sir. Okay. <laughs> Good? Yeah, Alana's got that again. Do you want to try it for fun? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Just try it. Yeah. Woo! Your pubic bone might rock against something hard. It's okay. Breathe in, push. Woo! Okay, last five. I hope you guys have a little bit of fun with your own body. That's the idea. We're gonna get weird. Today, Kim Von Friend literally rolled down my cement driveway just to get her steps in. She was trying to get unique on how she got movement, so she rolled, body rolled down my cement driveway. We're very bored. Okay. <laughs> Downward facing dog. Let's blow it, right leg up, breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, modified crescent. Right hand in front of left. Exhale, side bend to the right, whether or not you wanna lift your knee. Inhale, come through center. Give me a high up. Exhale, high up. Yeah. Reverse warrior, pull back. Exhale, low lunge. Flip dog, take your right toes up into scorpion or all the way over. Exhale, high plank, left hand taps your right foot. Inhale, high plank, kick your legs together. Exhale, push up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, low chaturanga or Pilates swan. <laughs> Downward facing dog, take it back. Lift your left leg up, breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, modified crescent, left in front of right. Lift your knee if you want, bend to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, hi -yah. Hi -yah. Hi -yah. Warrior two. Reverse warrior, I hope you're making some noise. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, flip dog. Take your left toes up and over. Exhale, high plank. This time your right hand touches your left foot. Whoa. Inhale, plank. Exhale, push up. Inhale, upward facing. Pilates swan or low push up. <laughs> Downward facing dog. <laughs> Take it back. Right leg high again. Breathe in. Kick it up. Exhale, low lunge. It's the same thing one more time. Inhale, modified crescent, right wrist in front of left. Lean over to the right, keep leaning. Nice kitty, good alignment. Inhale through center, Haya. Ha -ya. Reverse, breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, flip dog, do it so it's hard to breathe. Then bring the breath back, exhale, plank, tap your opposite hand to foot. Inhale, high plank, abs tight, legs together, push up. Upward dog, stay there. Low chaturanga or swan, go. <laughs> Downward facing dog. <laughs> Left leg, breathe in. <laughs> Exhale, low lunge, last part of the flow. Inhale, modified crescent, left in front of right. Lean to the left, option to lift your knee up. Inhale through center, restabilize. Big high ya. Ha! Reverse warrior, tug everything up and back. I am. Low lunge, support it even if I can't see it. Inhale, flip dog, take your left toes over. Exhale, high plank, hand to foot. Inhale, plank position, squeeze your legs together. Last time, exhale, push up. Inhale, upward dog. Last chance, Pilates swan, do it! Or low chaturanga. <laughs> Downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg up, let's build deep, slow and low. Exhale, low lunge. Awesome. Dynamic core work. Inhale, come through crescent. Take your hands back in our supportive grip. Here I am, right hand forward. My left hand, I'm supporting that person. Right hand in front. Breathe in. Exhale, side bend as you drop your left knee to the ground. 
Come back up to your center. Chair position, left foot meets the right. Stay here, lean to the right again. Double dip, side to side. Step your left foot back again, same leg. Side bend as you drop. Come through chair, side bend to the right. So we're only bending to the right. You're on your own 30 seconds. I want you to feel the power in your right leg as you're chugging your arms sideways. Make the conscious decision to do it, not because I'm told you to, or maybe I'm watching you on Zoom. Make the conscious decision to do every single deep dive, that side bend, because you wanna be stronger on the other side of this. Because right now you're getting the immediate benefits of dopamine, adrenaline pumping through your body. But in three weeks when these physical results show up, you're going to be a spiritual goddess or God, a warrior in your own right because you're stronger, you committed to yourself here. All right, come up through center room chair, hands to heart. Prayer twist to your right, hinge your left elbow to the outside of your right leg. Stay or we're ready for side crow. If you want to take flight, bend in and fly your legs. Awesome, Sarah's got nice length that she's opening up her legs. Remember, you're toning your outer hips as you push your leg against your arms. Those of you staying in chair, remain in the fire of your badass legs. You've got 15 seconds. <laughs> My side crows, if you can keep holding, that's a really hard challenge. <laughs> keep holding, keep holding. <laughs> Keep going nice and low on your legs. Last five. If you're on my playlist, Beaver just came on. Woo! Last three. Two. Inhale up through chair. Exhale, back bend. Put your hands behind your head. Push your head into your hands. Oh, yeah. Full breathe. You're kind of in a chair back bend. It's almost like an Ashtanga chair. Oftentimes, keep holding. In Ashtanga, they put their hands up and look at them because we're trying to tone your neck. There's muscles all around your cervical spine that stabilize it, your SCM, your levator scapula, all those muscles that support it. Take a breath. Exhale, dip your chin to your chest and fold in. Inhale, halfway lift, keep your hands behind your head. Widen your elbows to tone your back muscles. Breathe in. Squat, tuck and curl into a little tiny ball and hold there. There's two core challenges left here for us today. It's gonna to be a 60 second core challenge, number one of two. Put your left hand down, side plank to the right. Step your body back. You can always be on the lower knee for support as you push your hips up. If you're on your lower knee, lift your top right leg. Let that feel good. My side planks are doing awesome. Now know that you could hover your top leg to increase inner outer thigh strength or you wanna challenge your quads, kick your heel to your butt like dancers pose and grab your foot. Chopasana grip. Awesome, Jenna. Especially if you're on your bottom knee, you can try that. You got it, Linda. Wiggling out is a perfect thing, guys. Come right back in. Hell yeah, Gina. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, plank. Kick your right leg and swing it all the way in a three-legged dog. Keep your leg as straight as you possibly can. Lock out your right knee. Swing your right leg wide towards the front of your mat like a hurdler's pose. Inhale, swing up, tone your glute. Exhale, knee towards your tricep as you swing in. You've got two more like that. Last one. Pull it forward. Then pendulum swing your knee towards center, half or full splits. If you've got the flexibility to go up on your tippy fingers, send your tippy fingers all the way into the earth and push your right leg through into splits. Half for full splits. Half you align your knee under your hip. If you're looking to work splits, all you do is walk your left knee back just a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit, little by little. Hold and breathe. Now splits is a great place to stay. Trust me, you're already working all this awesome, awesome hamstring length, which is like preventative medicine for your back. But if you wanna play with one of our peak poses, I call it Captain Morgan grip. So you're gonna take your right foot out to the side, 
hands on your hips. Watch me first, holding your splits. Your back toes are tucked and you take your left hand behind you as you push and lift. So I'll show a front view for you. You push your hips forward like we would in a runner's lunge. Left hand reaches for your back ankle and you lift. This might be a great place to stay. If you feel like your back is stable today, we're gonna take on our awesome support grip. Right in front of left, bend in, and reach your heel towards your butt as you pull back. Very intense on your left hamstring. Take a back bend. Last layer, you take three breaths here. Reach for your back foot and kick into it. Okay, we'll move together. So come from your splits. You can say in splits, of course. Or first part, Captain Morgan. Work your right foot out to the side like you were in runner's lunge. Left hand to your back ankle. Stay there and just kind of look up. You can put your hand behind your head or reach. Oh, it's so good for your psoas and hip flexors. Opposite of sitting all day. Or wiggle your right foot to center. Shift off of your kneecap into your quad, heel to butt. Right hand over left, lift. A great option here is to take a pillow or Alana's got her like uh, yogi toes or blanket under the left knee. I don't know what kind of surface you're working on, but it can be pretty unforgiving on your kneecap. We all have different patellas. The kneecap, it's formed when you start to crawl as a baby. So if you didn't crawl that much as a kid, actually your patella might not even be that strong. In PT and physical therapy, sometimes they make adults crawl to make their patellas stronger. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Sarah, this is my last layer. If you haven't reached for your back foot yet and you want to, you can reach with both hands behind you, opening and cracking your heart. I am supported. You can also reach with just the right hand. Three breaths. Let your soul be on fire. Let every part of you be a little bit scared, but at least you're alive. You're feeling your body. You're right here with this group of awesome 40 people. Breathe in. Pull your core muscles in. Downward facing dog. Transverse down dog, walk your right hand to the outside of your left leg, full tug. Creating space in your back, inhale. Oh yeah, exhale. Bend your knees a little bit, put both hands on the ground, lift your left leg up. Last standing set of the day, low lunge. Inhale, come up through high crescent. Left hand in front of right. As you inhale, bend your back knee. Exhale, dive to the left. Now we're gonna do that 30 second drill. Step into chair, bend to the left. Step your right leg back only and bend to the left. You're on your own a few reps. Make sure you feel every single time that your side bodies are on fire. Your lower body is glued in cement. So when you're in that lunge, all you do is go up and down like an elevator. Don't let your knees bow side to side. That'll protect and make your inner outer thighs stronger like that speedo area. Yeah, Kim, get it girl. Keep breathing. I see the depth in your legs. You've got 10 seconds. Yeah, three, you're on it. Last three. Awesome, Julia, two, good depth. Pause in your chair pose. Breathe in. Exhale, pull the hands through center, take that funky hand grip, and then offer the hands forward. Airplane, kick your right leg back. If it's accessible to pull your hands more forward, you'll notice that that funky hand grip, we want that. We're gonna put all this pressure in your joints and then fresh fluid comes back. Pressure is not a bad thing. The only thing that's bad is if you feel like a shooting or like a needle sensation. Other than that, a dull ache is like a massage. You've ever gotten a hard massage, you're self-massaging in quarantine. Breathe in. <laughs> Step it back to chair. Prayer twist to the left. There we go. Hands and heart. Leverage your right elbow to the outside of your left leg. Breathe. Awesome depth lift. Keep looking up at your right shoulder, guys. I love the arms expanding, Kristen. As you lift, you've got 20 seconds to either hold your chair twist and burn out your legs, or 15 seconds for that side crow 
hold it in isolation. See, we can't just do things like it's an Instagram picture. You gotta condition and hold it. It's not like, boom, oh, we did quarantine, that was easy, now it's over. <laughs> we gotta hold, we gotta sit in the stickiness and the unknown. Fully supported, take a deep breath in. Come back through your chair. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat, tuck, and curl. Widen your knees to the wide edges of your mat. Go real wide. Yeah, good, you too, Anna. <laughs> Sorry, I know you're wiping your sweat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, walk your hands forward and stretch, like almost like an elevated child's pose. So you'll notice that this is a beautiful prep for your back. Today's class has a lot of low back strengtheners, so your back might be a little bit sore after today's class, that's okay. That dull ache is a good thing. It's like we were doing a few bicep curls, your biceps are sore the next day. Today we did a few back crunches, which makes your low back muscles stronger. You are literally supporting yourself three weeks from now. Take a moment to say, hello future self, you're welcome. Second core challenge, step to plank. Step yourself back. Side plank, left arm high. 60 second core challenge starts now. Lift and extend, yeah. If you've lifted your top leg, you go for it. There is an assumption that you're sinking with gravity. Let's get rid of that preconceived notion that the gravity's working against you right now. What if gravity was lifting you up? I love the plank, Tara. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, three-legged dog, lift your left leg straight up. Keep your leg locked out. Hurdler swings, swing your straight left leg towards your left tricep. Inhale, kick it back up. Straight leg swing, awesome Amanda. Keep that left leg locked out the whole time, flex your toe. <laughs> Don't take a break, Chels, don't drop your foot down. Keep it down. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Last three, hover your left foot. <laughs> Last two. <laughs> and pull your left knee to your nose. Pretend you're kissing it, maybe you can. Come to your tippy fingers. Go all the way up on your tippy fingers. Step your left foot through to a split. Half or full. Your tippy fingers essentially act like little blocks. Breathing in. Breathing out. All right, same breakdown. I'll show you the peak variation. It's a Captain Morgan backbend, which eventually this builds into Kaputasana. So we've got our left leg out. This opens your hip complex. This is critical for deeper backbends. Right knee, right under your hip. Reach your hand back for your ankle, and then you'll push your pelvis forward from there. You never want your butt to be farther back than your knee. Push it forward to open, hand behind your head or reach. Stay there, or our drill to go a little deeper, Walk your knee now farther back than your hip, left in front of right, kick your right heel towards your butt. Once you've held a couple breaths, I'll cue you in to grab one or both hands to your shin or ankle. It takes a lot of pelvic stability to hold the energy up and in. So let's work together, come back to a low lunge. Back knee to the ground, walk your left foot out, push your hips forward, hand to ankle, stretch, rock it. Stay in that supported back bend. You can even put your hand behind your head. If you wanna play a little deeper, come back through center, walk your left knee in. Push your hips forward so you're off of your kneecap now. You may wanna put the support prop, the pillow under your knee. Hands up, left in front or right. Take that supported grip, lean in. Now you've got five breaths. Your left hand now is in front of your right. I want you to imagine that the person that you miss or really can't see in quarantine right now is holding your hand and they're lifting you up. They're asking you to dive deeper. They're asking you to keep your heart open. Yep, you can feel it. Like think about just being the right hand only. Think about you being your right hand only. Your left hand's helping you. And then hands behind you, reach for your foot in some capacity. Whether it's both hands, awesome. Good, and then Alana, will you show them right hand down, left hand only, there you go. Awesome, 
couple breaths. You can reach your left hand back for your foot. So supported by your breath. Holy moly, I am so grateful to be breathing today. Come back to your center, high plank position. High plank is an awesome reset after back bends. Mini cat cows, inhale slightly cow pose. So Alana will drop to the knees to do like a real cow pose in tabletop. Sarah will stay in plank. Breathe into a little cow. So the Buddha belly drops and you look up, but your butt stays in line with your head. Then plank cat. Keep your butt in line with your head, but round and tuck your tailbone. Inhale, plank cow. We're opening up the shashuna, the main channel. Exhale, plank cat. Do this a few times. Pretend you are undulating. You may even feel this all the way down to your reproductive organs. Open up your reproductive organs, if you would, and then close them and clench them. Let that swirling energy reawaken the kundalini, that, that serpent energy that's at the base of our spine. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, undulating the spine for life force energy. Awesome. Come back to sitting in hero's pose. Drop back hips to heels. Layer one, you can take forearm plank if you'd prefer not to invert, but it would be a shame not to try a peak arm balance. All of this action opened up your lats and your core muscles to get us ready for scorpion. I'll show you what I mean. You'll be on your forearms, shoulders over elbows. Lift your one leg to the sky to start. And maybe today you're against your wall. That's the cool part about being home, you have a wall. And then you can widen your legs like a split, that's easier to balance, or bring them together. Whoa, harder to balance. Then once they're together, bring your tippy toes to touch. Let your toes go towards your head. Knees go wide like child's pose. Reach your gaze up. When you come back down, pull your abs in. <laughs> and slowly come back down. Aim to not slingshot. So we'll take a whole minute, the clock starts now. Either you're doing your amazing forearm plank to tone your core, you can even do hip dips. Or if you wanna play with forearm stand, use your wall. Palms are shoulder width distance. Kick up, we have the whole minute to play. If you're doing forearm stand, look at your thumbs. Yeah, nice there. If you feel like you've balanced and you can feel your center of gravity, forearms directly under your butt, then bring your big toes to touch, widen your knees like a butterfly, and start to work your toes towards your head by looking up. Don't lose sight of your core. You've got 15 seconds wherever you are. We're cooling it down after this team, so know that this is a great place to stay. Oh yeah, my forearm stands. Push it if you've got it. Maybe you kick up one more time. <laughs> Planks oh for God. five. Nice, Linda. Bring your elbows a little closer, Linda. Linda, your elbows are too far apart. Just shoulder width distance, and then put all the weight in your forearms. Yeah, everyone, just shoulder width. Push up, push up. And child's pose, roll back. Breathe. Breathe. You made it. Revolved child's pose. Take your right arm under your left. Just like a revolved table, revolved child's. As you thread the needle, right arm under left, let your right cheek touch the ground. Take your left bicep a little farther towards the top of your mat, so it's almost like your bicep could drown out all the sound. It's almost like you were tuning deeper into your breath by taking your left bicep against your ear. And as the outside sounds tune out, your breath starts to get a little bit louder.
Just gently switch, take the opposite side. There's no rush. First, thread the needle and wiggle. Your left arm goes under your right. Let your left cheek rest on the ground. Then wiggle your right hand more over your head so that your bicep takes out the sound. Supported by yourself. Sometimes when I feel like I'm not supported, I feel lonely. I remember that this is the same air right now that you're breathing. Similar molecules, some of the same recirculating that our ancestors breathed. The same air that Abe Lincoln breathed, the same air that your grandparents breathed, your great grandparents. the same air that my mom breathed, and even people who are still in their body, other places in the world, that recirculation. Come through center to downward dog and take a transverse down dog. Opposite side this time with your left hand grabbing the outer right leg. Transverse down dog, twisted down dog. You may have to walk your feet a little bit closer to get a good leverage point. Yeah, good Haley, keep looking up under your right armpit. If you can hold on to your leg, tug a little bit harder, Tara, that's good. Put both heels equally into the ground. <laughs> you got it, Linda, push harder through your left heel. Take a deep breath in. Exhale onto your knees and roll around to your back. Roll down to your back and take fetal pose. Roll onto your right side. So your right ear is in your bicep like a pillow. Pause in fetal pose for a second. In these last couple minutes of class, let's stay really committed to being together. Maybe it's the first time today you've been with let's see, 20 people. <laughs> We're taking a class of 25 of us. Sharing in that energy, feeling supported. Stretch your left arm to the sky. Supine twist, just open up your left arm. If you want to adjust your knees to bring them closer to your face, go for it. Yeah, it's up to you. Getting more space in your chest, breathe in. Breathe out. Keep your left knee on top. <clears throat> Cow face your left over your right. So it's almost like you're doing the eagle cross just once and grab your feet. Grab your shins, grab your feet, whatever you can to stretch your hips. The lower glutes and outer hips. Breathe in, tug your knees closer to your face as you exhale and your feet closer to the ground. It's like you're giving your whole body a hug. We're trying to squeeze every joint in today's class. Maybe you massage out your toes by squeezing them, giving a little pressure to your feet. What needs an extra hug of support today? And then we'll reverse the entire cycle. Just take the right leg over the left. We'll go downhill. Eagle your legs, reverse cow face, supine. Grab your feet, hold, squeeze, tug. You know, it's crazy. My dad's birthday is March 31st. And so I messaged my family WhatsApp chat and I was like, hey guys, do you want to do a family party per se for my dad's birthday on the 31st? And everyone, we like got so quick to make a time. We're all meeting at noon so that my brother who's all the way in Georgia, Africa, you know, he can also make it at that time. Take a breath, supine twist, drop your knees over to the left. Look out towards your right hand, drop your knees to the left. But here's the crazy part, is that we never get together on my dad's birthday. That we all live in different cities. My step-siblings are in New York and Indiana. My brother's in Africa. I'm here in California and my other brother's down in Baltimore. So 
what a cool thing that for the first time ever, we're all actually making a point to see each other on my dad's birthday. We've never done that before. We've never come together before on his birthday. We just call him all separately. There's a new kind of support that we get to make in this time. And in this new frontier, this new normal, you get to make the parameters. You get to decide what support looks like in a world of virtual connection. It's up to us to make the difference, to be a different kind of connected, a different kind of supported. Breathe in, breathe out. Roll into fetal pose. So now you'll just bring your left arm up under your ear like a pillow, bring your knees up and pause for me in fetal pose. I do not take this time that you decided to spend with us lightly, especially in this time. So if right now you need to call in some people energetically, think about your closest five or 10 people in your life and just kind of say their name to yourself. Like, I'm calling in Patrick. I'm calling in Lorenzo. Call them into your space and energetically ask them to hang out with you, maybe spoon you. Just breathe and hang out with them because I promise you they feel it more than you understand. And even though you might not be able to see all 25 people, I want you to imagine that you're in a yoga class, in a classroom with them. That you're there with Larissa and Sarah and Alana, Kristen, Libby, Gina, Julia, Jenna, Tara, Jill, Chelsea, Lindsay, Amanda, Haley, Catherine, Kim, Atri, Amanda, Trina, Linda, Kitty, that we're all just hanging out together. And supporting one another you can almost feel it like you're you're being held by the thread of that hammock each of us energetically holding one another right where you need to be press up to a seat and we're gonna be in an ending meditation for about a minute maybe a minute and a half so if you want to sit against a wall you're welcome to scooch back and sit against a wall or put a pillow under your butt. We're gonna spend a little bit of time here together, so get comfortable and close your eyes. After having called in the people to the space that you want, maybe even people that aren't in their body anymore, it's almost like you're having an energetic party, sitting, being supported by all these people. Now I want you to look at each person that you called in. Look at them in the eye, in your mind's eye. And think about a quality that you wanna thank them for. So I'm looking at my brother and I'm thanking him for his undying support. And I'm looking at my mom and I'm thanking her for everything she taught me. I'm looking at Lorenzo and thanking him for making me laugh. Look at your circle in your mind's eye, like you're sitting at a party with them on the couch and thank each of them right now.
and then bring your right hand over your heart. Feel yourself breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Take your left hand and put your left hand over your right hand like that person that you love so much is supporting you and holding you. It's like you're hold, being held the hands of that person. Feeling so supported, breathe in. Breathe out. We say that word that means thank you to end our class. Bring your palms in prayer against your heart, then to your third eye. Namaste. Good, good. You know, this is a drill, and as we go into the next 20 minutes together for Zoom, this is something I do all the time when I feel lonely, is I call them in. I say, hey, please, um, mom, come hang with me, Patrick, come hang with me, whoever. And I, they sit around, and you don't understand your capacity to be with people in different planes, in different levels. You don't know where the energy is anyway. So just calling them in is a reassurance to your crazy mind state. Use that as a tool and technique when we're in quarantine. <laughs>